Up next, we have a 2009 Toyota FJ Cruiser. Let me make sure. 2009 Toyota FJ Cruiser. So this thing's in for a complete rework. We're gonna be redoing some body work that failed and some paint work that failed. This one's gonna end up being a complete repaint. So we're gonna kind of show you around. Cody's gonna be doing some body work on it. Denner's gonna be doing the disassembly and then I'm gonna paint it. So we're gonna start up here. A little bit loose. You can see we got a hood that's peeling. It's peeling like crazy. You like that little slap -a -roo? We got some Bondo cracking out right here. You can, oh, look at that. Somebody put a hole in it. That That'll rust? make some rust. Yep. So this fender's gonna get redone. Bumper's gonna come off. Flare's gonna come off. Gonna repaint this. This is all failing. We're gonna be taking this off and changing it. When you take these off, they break. They gotta be replaced. We're gonna be redoing the top. We're gonna be taking off this upper roof rack. We're gonna be redoing the doors. The clear coat's failing right here. So we're gonna be stripping those doors down. We're gonna be doing the quarter panels. We're gonna be re-two-toning this roof panel. We're gonna be making that white again. Maroon on the sides. Replacing these side steps. We're gonna be r and these side windows. Taking the tail lights out, rear bumper off. Oh, this one actually, we're gonna be replacing that. There's a big old dent in that bumper. Pulling the spare tire carrier off. Pretty much every single thing on this entire FJ is gonna be coming off. Oh, we got some damage here. A Little bit of rust going on there. A little rust here. Got the boss smacking things too. A lot of stuff going on. You can see right here, this door's failing. Lots to do on this FJ, so we're gonna have dinner get to it. He's gonna set up the camera, gonna do some tripod action, disassemble the entire vehicle, and then we'll do some body work, and then we'll prime it and paint it. All right, I'm going to start tearing the front end of this FJ apart. We're gonna start with this bully bar and get the grill, headlights, front bumper, and all that. Okay, now we'll pull the grill. The little plastic pieces on top of the fenders. There's the front bumper off. We got those two pieces off, they go under the headlight. There's the headlights. Okay, now we gotta take this hood apart. We gotta take the squirters off and this front panel piece. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking off the splash shield and the flare. All right, there's that fender. All tore down, and then that. This is the parts cart. Dinner's got everything organized. We got all the roof moldings here. We got all the baggies full of parts and pieces and bolts and screws and nuts and clips and everything else. All labeled, baggied up, so when this goes back together, you know exactly where everything goes. The way the cart's usually designed set up, we probably said in other videos, these first two shelves are good parts and that's damaged parts. So as you can see, we got a lot of damaged parts that we're waiting on. Gonna be replacing this bumper piece. That smashed in pretty good. So we got a new one of those coming. Fun little fact on these FJs. This is the upper roof molding that goes across the roof and covers the windshield. This is a one-time use part. Once you take it off, you gotta replace it. You gotta replace the clips. Looks like somebody's already tried to take it off and they've used urethane to glue it back on, which we see a lot, but we're gonna be getting a new one and changing it. So we've walked around, Cody started marking everything out, figuring out where all the dents are so we don't miss anything. That way he can start on the passenger side. I'm gonna start on the driver's side. He's gonna start fixing all the little dings and dents. I'm gonna start working around that failing Bondo. Failing. You can see on this fender, we've got some bad body work here. Somebody put a hole in it. This is exactly what happens when you don't fix holes. Moisture wicks in from the back. It gets underneath that plastic filler and it pops it off. All right, so the more I get into this repair, the more I'm seeing why it failed. 
There's a hole here, a hole right here. There's a hole here. And this entire edge is just crushed. And I've got rust down here. If you look right there, you can see it's just failing. This could be fixed, absolutely. In my professional opinion, this is too far compromised. I don't want to paint over it and put my name on it and try to warranty over something. So we're going to pull this fender off, look at the backside, and then I'm going to be ordering a fender because there's just rust in it and I feel like it's just gonna fail if we go over it again. So, dinner's grabbing me a scissor stand. It's like a scissors, that's why we call it a scissor stand. It's like that. We're gonna take the hood off, put it on a scissor stand, and then I'm gonna pull this fender off and we'll show you guys why I'm making the decision. I mean, by all appearance, this doesn't look terrible, but I just don't want to chance it. For the cost of this fender, we're just gonna replace it. It'll be better. Hot! It's my third hand. <laughs> it's a little heavy. heavy. Okay, now we'll get the fender pulled off. Uh, One more. One more bolt. All right, so we've got it to the back side. You see in here, and all the rust on the back side, we're gonna change it. We're gonna get her a new fender. She'll be happier, we'll be happier. Everybody's gonna be happier. What are you eating, Dan? What are you? What are those? The the ones that you don't like? Not about, about the, the bites. Nibs. I'm all about the nibs. The bites are pretty good. Dinner likes okay. the bites. What do you I like? Don't. I like Cadbury mini eggs. You like Cadbury, Cadbury mini eggs? <laughs> Cadbury <laughs> mini eggs? Ooh, nice. That sounds fabulous. I like chocolate. He'd be like the fudge ones. He would. Who doesn't like chocolate? Do you guys like chocolate? Demery likes chocolate. Chocolate's a comfort food. And it comforts well. It's time to get back to work. And on the passenger side here, we've got all the dents down where we've got glaze on them so we can get them sanded and get it finished off. Can you see back here on this driver's quarter panel? Get close enough, it kind of looks like a gob stopper. As many layers has been put on this. So we'll be putting down a skim coat of plastic filler. When you're first applying your filler, you want to get it squished into the sand scratches pretty good so it has your mechanical plus your chemical adhesion on it. Less chance of failure in the long run. And you can go through and smooth it out so you make your sanding job a lot easier. You see the everlasting gobstopper on that quarter panel? Okay, all right, we went through and we've got all the body work and the glaze sanded down on the FJ here. You can see we've got it sanded. We've got all this done, all the bad clear that was failing. This done, we got this body work done up here. This has had a couple different repairs done on the vehicle and some spots we've had to deal with that, as you can see by the fender Robbie previously mentioned. We've got the back gate taken care of. We got a little pinhole, some 440 Express on here to take care of some of the pinholes just on this larger area where they popped up. And everything else in the roof was pretty good. There was just a teeny ding on the back, a couple here above the door. Then we just got all these other little dings. Like, they've got to park next to something because there was just dings all over right here. All right, we're using the fence tool with 120 grit. We're gonna strip the rest of this hood. Got half of it stripped down. You can see I don't have a mask on. That's because I'm using a vacuum assisted fence tool. All right, we got this whole hood stripped down to the sealer. We've got a couple of rock chips. We got a feather out tomorrow and glaze, and then we're gonna get this thing all primed, but that's it for now. All right, we got a lot going on over here. You can hear, you guys are working. And I'm gonna show you, we've got so many jobs waiting on parts. Over here, waiting on parts. Over here, waiting on parts. Over here, waiting on parts. Right here, waiting on insurance. Speaking of this, come check this out. How would you like to be this snowmobile that hit a tree? Look at that, smashed up real nice and good. Smashed the whole front of that thing. That would hurt. So we got this all torn apart. We're gonna be submitting that to the insurance. We got this one back here getting some body repairs. Got another Jeep, go figure. Getting the quarter panel fixed. Chris has been working on the mud work. It's got a real nice little tiny skim coat on it. We're gonna be cutting in all the body lines tomorrow. We're gonna get this thing primered so it can be painted this week. Check this out, we got another deer hit right here. Ram Promaster. It rammed a deer, and then this one. I'm gonna show you this 
but I'm not gonna go into depth with it because this is gonna be on another episode. This is the black Duramax. We're gonna be pulling it. We've got it up on frame clamps. We got the laser on it, some laser beams. We'll be able to show you guys what the laser does and how the frame rack works. And we're gonna get that front end pulled around and we're gonna pull it all apart. That's gonna be on another episode. That's what we got going on in here. All right, so we got this Keracoat ceramic headlight restoration kit. I'm gonna give it a try and see what it, how it does. That's got quite the oxidation on it. This has three parts to it. Okay, now we're gonna clean it off. Then we're gonna do step number two. This is the little thing they give with it. It's a 2000 grit sandpaper. Okay, now we got a gray disc on the sandy thing. Okay, so we're gonna do step number three. It's the ceramic clear coating. I would say that doesn't look too bad. I really like that. Dinner's been hard at it, getting this Honda Accord put back together. We're replacing the passenger headlight. One of you awesome viewers sent us out some Cerakote to try. He took it upon himself to Cerakote the driver's side headlight. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. Although it doesn't look brand new, it looks pretty close to new. I think the customer's gonna be pretty happy with it. We're not gonna have one dull and one new one. So you guys ought to check this stuff out. Love it. It, it, it saves some time, and like it actually saves because then you don't have to go and sand it down and clear it. It works. It works wonderful. And then it don't, like, like you can see wonderful. here, it don't look like a new yeah. one to an old one. Exactly. It makes the like car look that. better. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Been a pretty busy week. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got a lot of stuff done. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, go check out this video. <laughs> done. <laughs> and that's all.